Hi, in this lesson I would like to introduce you the dual color LED. The dual color LED, just as the name says, is basically a two colors LED. Using the dual color LED we can light it up using just two colors. First is R, which stands right here, which means red. The second one is G, which means green. And then the last one we have G and D, which is the ground. Now you might be asking why we don't have a VCC. Well, technically we don't need any. We can connect the ground with any of the R or the G in order to light it up. For example, if we connect the G with the R, it will turn on red. If we connect the G with the, with the ground with the G, it will turn on green. Now, when we understand how the sensor works, let's go to our microcontroller to see how can we connect it together. So, after we understand how the dual color LED works, it's time to understand how can we connect it into our Arduino device. Now first, as we can see, the Arduino device is right here. Let's take a closer look at the pins. First we have the GND connected right here, and then we have pins number 6 and 7, which are red and green. Now let's take a look over here. As we said, we have red, green, and GND. The yellow cable is the red, the the yellow cable is the red and the red cable is green. Now let's take a look over here. We can see that the red is 7 and the yellow is 6. That's great. That's how we connect it to the Arduino device. It's very simple and very, very straightforward. The dual color LED only has two colors, which means we only use two pins. The pins use 3.3 volt output and then we have G and D in order to close the circuit. Now when we understand how does it work, let's go into our Arduino IDE and try to program the device and make it work. Now we are connected into our Arduino IDE. As we can see, we have the Arduino right here in a live preview with the LED here, and we have the IDE right here, as well as the terminal console right here that we can output some information to. Now let's walk one, line by line to understand how does it work and how does it react. First we define the red pin as pin number 6 and the green pin is pin number 7, as we discussed over here, 6 and 7. The yellow cable is 6 and the red cable is 7. Great! Now we set val, which is value, to 0, just to initialize it. In the setup we set up the pin mode both red pin and green pin as output, because this is LED, it's an output device, not an input device. We start the serial begin with 9600 baud rate, which means we will use it in order to send it here the information. Make sure that it says over here as well, 9600 baud rate. If not, it might show you some gibberish information, which is unclear and it's impossible to understand. Now, over the main loop, we will set val to 100. And from val bigger than 0, we will go down, which means we will go from 100 to 0. We will write into the red pin the value, and the green pin the value and then we will put it into the serial console so we can see the number go down. Once we reach 0 we will go from value to 100 and add one value to val each time and then write the value to red pin and green pin and as well as print it and we will wait 50 milliseconds. Now as you can guess this is going up and down the numbers but what does it mean on our LED? Let's execute the code and see what happens. Oops, it says that we don't have the device connected. Let's make sure to connect it right here. That's it, perfectly fine. And we can see it's working. Great, we can see the number are working. Make sure that you did this me, that you choose the right serial connection on your device in order to make it work. Now, let's take a closer look at our LED right here. As we can see, as the value go, the color change between red, orange, and yellow. Each number make it different, show differently on the LED. Now it's very strong yellow, before it was just a little green, and then it's red. Now once we understand how the dual RGB work, sorry, how the dual LED, it's not an RGB and it's very important to remember it because RGB stands for red, green and blue and RG stands for red and green, which is just dual color, not RGB. Remember that because it's very important not to mistake, not like me. Now let's go back to our lesson. In the dual color LED, which we have only two LEDs, as we said, we have three pins. First is red, second is green, and the third one is G and D. Now let's take a look at the breadboard, which right here, to understand how it's connected. We have total three pins, 
one is GND which is connected right here and one is GPR21 and GPR20 which is connected to green and red which is right here red and green and connected right here green and red perfectly yeah so we have GPIO21 and GPIO20 that use those two colors right here so now once we have the dual color LED connected to our Raspberry Pi I think it's time that we go to our IDE or our Raspberry Pi terminal and try to program it using the Python programming language and see how it works so now we are connected into a Raspberry Pi as we can see we have the dual LED right here it's a live video of it as you remember it has two pins one is R and one is G red and green now let's put it back here and go through our code in the folder in the sun valor sensor kit for our pi2 python folder let's find the dual color led which is right here then let's take a look at the code line by line to understand how does it work first we import two libraries the rpi gpl library and the time library we set up the colors right here in hex format and we set up dictionary of the pins gpl 21 and gpl 20 which is right here 21 and 20 connected to the rgb led sorry to the dual not rgb just r and g right remember this is not rgb rgb is three colors and dual is two color r and g then we set up the gpio set mode to gpio vcm we set up the pins to gpio out which means output and we set up them to low which means turn off the led zero volt then we set the PWM for both pins as frequency of 2 kHz and we start the PWM cycle with 0, which means LEDs are off. We have a map function to map through the LEDs and change the colors, which we will use later on. Then we have a function called setColor, which is the main function that will set color for our LED. Now we have a loop function. In the loop function, basically what we do is we go for color in colors and set the color and sleep half a second before continuing on then we have a destroy function which will stop the leds turn them off and clean up the gpio for second use in our main program we loop through the colors all the time until keyboard interruption is detected now when we understand how does it work let's try to run the python command and execute the code to make sure that it works once we execute the code, we can see that the LED is working perfectly fine. As we can see, it has three colors, which is kind of yellow, green, and red. When we turn on the red and green together, it can create kind of like yellowish color. And we turn on the green alone, it's just green, and the red is just red. And that's how the dual color LED works. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you learned something new. I will see you next time.